Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Mercury Farms. Here we are, part number four of our Rags Riches series. Here with our John Deere exclusive tractors and that sort of stuff. Um, part number four, as I said, last episode, we did a little bit of um, cultivating down there, I believe. Um, and it was a short, sharp episode, but um, oh, a bit of water there. This episode, we've got a couple of jobs to take care of. Some. Um, Jobs where we're going to need to fertilize a little bit and that sort of thing. So let's first of all start off by cleaning up these messy chickens. They're always making a bloody mess they are. Alright, there we go. So pick that up and we can throw that in. There we go. Throw it back in. It always tells me the action can't be performed there, but it can be if we're in the right spot. Right, let's see now if we can drop this front attacher off. Put the sink. Takes a while to slow down. Right, let's back back. Pick up our fertilizer here. I think there should be more than enough. I think we've got fields 10 and 36. But another thing I wanted to show you guys is we have. Um, I don't know if it'll be in here. No, it's not miscellaneous. Here we go. We have lettuce greenhouses, $90 per hour, and also tomato greenhouses as well. So that's a new mod that was released, um, I think, today or yesterday, the day of the recording. I've also got some uh, flower mods. So let's have a look. Put some flowers around. But the only problem I think we're going to have is, yeah, they all, they're all class as placeables. Um, and I don't think if we sell them, if they will stay there. No. It's one thing I'd like. If we could sell them and they would stay, I'll be much, much happier. Because we don't want to fill up our um, fill up our garage full of flowers and stuff. So I think field 10 was one of our fields. So we need to sort of go straight across the road here. duck across and head up around to the right and field number 10 is sort of over here somewhere so this area here wouldn't be too bad for like, greenhouses and stuff I guess um, nice flat land and that sort of thing but we really need before we can do that we need um, whoop, access to water we need access to manure and that sort of stuff so similar to the FS17 uh, the FS17 greenhouses and stuff so still sort of looking at um, our money we've got no loan at the moment we do well, we are able to loan a little bit um, I've spoken to the bank the local bank manager um, his name's Mark so we've spoken to Mark and um, he said that we could borrow up to a hundred thousand dollars Possibly a little bit more, depending on um, what sort of assets we have. He said he'd have to come to the farm and have a look at, at what we've got. Obviously, our truck, um, our mobile home, particularly our chicken pen and our storage facility and all the equipment we've got at the farm. And then he'll make a decision whether he can actually loan us a little bit more money than that, which hopefully he can. It's so good to be able to start, um, start to expand band like down here like see a hundred thousand dollars we can get either one of these fields down here um but are any ready to go uh not yet no that one field 53 is growing so that's probably the best bet get field 53 well, that's really really rough through there uh field 53 would be the one to go with i think so we've got field 10 just here to fertilize as I said, um, we've put an ad out, we've let people know that um, we are available to do some work. Minimum hourly rate for fertilizing is $10,000, $10,000, $2,000 I should say. So we are only fertilizing this field the once and it is very tiny, but we are making $2,000 out of it. So you know, we can't complain. The guy said that he hasn't got his own equipment to use, so he needs 
needs a hand, we're more than happy to help, but obviously we don't help for free at the moment. We're sort of really struggling for money, so we need to need to make money where we can. It does feel like we're sort of ripping this guy off a little bit, but as I said, we don't work for nothing. And he knew how much we were charging beforehand, and he was more than happy to pay it, so... Complete that job, and then we've got to go to field 36, which should be straight ahead up here somewhere, to the left. Um, I think, can we get through to field 36? Yeah, up past field 38 and around to the left. So we might have a look at um, some other jobs as well that are available at the moment. After we get this field 36 done, we'll have a quick look at other jobs that are available and see what else we can get done today. We have, as I said, we've got our cultivator, we've got our fertilizer here. We don't have a harvester or anything as yet. Someone's buying a lot of smoke over there. Um, but that's another thing. We did get a phone call from uh, Rebecca from the shop saying that that harvester is fully, fully serviced and ready to go. Uh, the old John D. Harvester, they said that they had um, coming in. So if we want to take a look at that and purchase it, then we can either just send them through a deposit, we can go in and check it out and pick it up, or we can just send them the straight, straight cash for whatever it is and take it as it is, which we probably will do because we know, um, after picking up this tractor, we know that their, uh, their work up there is pretty good. Noah does a really good job with servicing all the equipment, so we can't complain with how our tractor is at the moment. He's going to need a service every five hours, so we're well, an hour and a half in nearly use of this tractor already, so a little bit of time left before we need to service it, but that's, those five hours will go pretty quick, I think. I don't know if we're sort of getting that whole field there on the left, but it should be pretty close. Got another area down there for where an old farm used to be. Everyone's sort of just packed up and left, which is quite interesting. As I said um, in our last episode, everyone sort of just knew the downturn was coming and with it being such an old small area, they decided to just pack up and, and move. They retired, packed up, sold everything, moved, got out of here. So we're the only real farmer in town now. Especially one that um, can actually help a lot of other people. We're the only one left. Alright, so let's jump out and um, complete that mission. Let's have a look. We've got a sewing job. Uh, we've got weeding, which we can't really do at the moment. Bailing, transporting, none of those jobs are available. So maybe if we... Um, I think if we can head to the bank. Is there a local bank around somewhere? I don't think there is. I might have to... Um, Jump out and give the bank a call. So I'll make a phone call, let him know that we want a little bit of money. We're going to borrow, we said we can borrow up to 120,000. So that's pretty good. A little bit of money in our account, but now we're going to have to have a look at Harvester, as I said, 30,000. Uh, where are we? That's the standard, so that's the cheapest. We'll buy that. Um, now we're going to have to, a little bit of a look, what have we got? We've got 90,000 left, so we're sort of, this little one, 53, is the one we're going to buy. So let's buy you, because that is growing. Uh, and what is actually on that field? Canola. Okay, so we need to buy our header for that tractor. That can take canola. So default wheat spikes. We'll just go the default because it's cheaper. Buy. I don't know if we can pick up a we can a header trailer as well for the 925. There we go. So we'll jump back in our tractor and head back home. Which I believe we should be able to yeah, we should be able to get home back down this way. And then what I'll do is I'll fast forward time while we're on our way and we'll keep a close eye on field 53. 
Um, it needs lime. It's not fertilised at all, so let's slow it down a little bit actually. We might as well go and fertilise it on the way. Then we can fast forward time a little bit at least, get it to stage 2 fertilisation, which is what we want. We can't go spreading any lime at the moment, we don't have anything to use to spread lime. Um, our next best thing for lime is $40,000. Or our hook lift, our hook lift um, thing here, thirty-seven thousand. But we need to hook it onto a truck, which we don't have as well. So, yeah, like thirty-nine thousand dollars, the cheapest option at the moment. Really, just don't have that sort of money. All right, so we'll take this guy down. We purchased our first field, field fifty-three. I'd like to be able to join all these other fields together, which we'll need to. Possibly break down the fences and um, get rid of them. So I think we just use like a stump grinder or something. Yeah, use like a stump grinder or even a chainsaw and cut down, cut down the posts. I, I don't know how that will work, but we'll probably pick up the steel chainsaw. That way we can. Oops, we can actually have a look and see fat as an option because they're not they're not the biggest fields um, they're not that small either but I said they're not the biggest so we're probably going to need yeah we're going to need to sort of join them together I think we're also going to need to Get onto the shop as well and let them oh, I need to go this way. Let them know that we need to um, grab a trailer as well for our tractor to be able to unload our harvester. So if anything's coming in, if they've got anything in mind, then they can let us know. I think that might be the final stage of growth. Looks like it is actually. Um, I can't remember if we have... No, it must not. It might, I don't know if these are care wheels or not. They might be. Wait, let's have that go. Have we got... Yep, crop destruction is on, so there must be care wheels on this thing. So we'll do run up, run back, and then probably a run down the middle. But I really think that this is going to be our only chance to fertilise the field. This is the one that I'm pretty sure this is the field that we cultivated um, at the end of our last episode. Don't quote me on it, but I think it might be. And we also have another mod that I've downloaded. Um, it's not there. It should, we should be able to have a look at it once we're sort of out of the tractor I think and I'll show you guys what that mod is it's for hide helpers All right, right up the middle somewhere yeah that should be perfect so we'll get this done we'll take our tractor back home I'll have a look at the hide helper mod um, and show you guys a little bit into that we can rename our hide workers, we can change the price they charge us per hour, we can change the overtime price and all that sort of thing, so certainly is going to be an interesting mod. Um, oh, let's jump out. Don't have access to the land there, okay. So we'll probably have to buy all the fields before we can actually go cutting them down. I'd say so. Um, they should all join together if we can buy them all. But, I mean, that field, it's not massive, but it's big enough for us. So we're sort of just getting started, so... Really can't complain too much. Alright, so we'll head back and drop this guy off. Um, then what I'll do is I'll go and grab our harvester from the shop and come back. 
and hopefully they'll be ready to harvest. So let's bump ourselves up to say time 60 and just see if that continues to progress in growth and it's ready when we get back. We can hope it is. Goes the field next to it. So we don't have anything to spray weeds or anything yet either. So that's another thing we're going to need to look at. Um, a sprayer or even a weeder. Um, I don't think there's any John Deere brand weeders or sprayers or anything. As I said, we're going to try and use John Deere as much as we can. Sometimes it's just not going to be possible, unfortunately. I'll jump out so if we go left shift backslash forward slash. So we can have up to 20 helpers. Um, show key assignment. Yep. Price per hour. I think $150 an hour is more than enough. Um, and then 2.8 for overtime. So between 6 and 10 o'clock at night, it's 1.8. Between 10 o'clock and 6 a.m., it's 2.8 times $150 an hour. I think that's more than enough. So hide helper number one will go farmer, farmer Jacko. Well, we can actually can't get it in there. We'll just go Jacko. Uh, Hire helper number two. We'll go uh, Dumpy if it works. Dumpy. Um, let me have a quick look at some other people we're going to have to put in here. I'm going to go. Um, okay, so these are female. What's going on there? Female helpers. So I'll put Lillian down because it's my daughter, of course. Um, we do have a few members of the channel, so we'll get those guys in here as well. Uh, we have Alastair. Alastair, he's a subscriber of the channel. We have, why is that doing that? Uh, Brian, Brian Cook. We have, every time I press backspace, doesn't want to work. We have Victor, Victor von Elst, uh, and we have Buckethead. Okay, accept changes. Now that won't come into effect until um, we reload. So we won't be able to see that now. We won't be hiring a worker for a little while anyway. But um. Right here guys, I'll pause the video here, I will go and grab our harvester and come back, and um, hopefully our field will be ready to go. Right here guys, we're back. We're just on our way back to the farm now. Um, I spoke to uh, Rebecca when I got back to the shop to pick up our harvester. Uh, so we're going to need a trailer for our harvest of course, to be able to sell collect our stuff into and sell from um, they didn't have anything John Deere, they didn't have anything really old school at the moment, they said they've got a brand new tractor out the back uh, it's one of the uh, farm tech tractors as you can see so we picked this guy up for just over 20000 I think and um, we now have no money left we are chock block full of equipment and our coffers are really really empty we have not much money left at all, fortunately. But um, our field is ready to go. We're going to head down here, jump out of our truck, jump in our harvester, and um, go from there. So if you guys would like your name in the game as a hide helper, not guaranteeing that um, you'll actually see it or not. It depends on, I don't know if it just always picks hide helper one or two, or if it just randomizes one of the names in the hide helper menu. I don't know, but if you want your name in there as a hired helper, then um, subscribe to the channel and also join our community. So hit the join button next to the subscribe button and um, I'll make sure your name gets put into here as well. There's a lot of other benefits as well to become a member of the channel. Um, access to our FS19 server, our American, I'll say our American series over at Ravenport, which is um, where we're at with our multiplayer server so if you want access to that you'd like to play online with both me and other members of the channel make sure you join 
contact me on Discord and I'll send you through the information to start playing. Alright, so we brought our harvester back. As I said, the Turbo 8820, John Deere, of course. Beautiful old looking thing. It has been serviced. It looks brand new. Runs brand new. Sounds brand new. It's, um, it is really good. Done a lot of work. Noah has really shone again as far as servicing these things. And um, we'll get harvesting. So we're probably not going to get a massive yield out of um, the canola. It's only been um, fertilised the once. And it's going to, yeah, only been fertilised once. It needs lime. So it's not not going to be a massive yield, I don't think. Right, hopefully it'll bring in a little bit of money for us. That's um, that is the main thing. So it shouldn't take us too long to get this harvested. We we'll have to come back and uh, cultivate the field and refertilize and all that sort of thing. And then seed. So whatever money we make out of this is what we're going to have to spend on buying a cedar. Because we literally have no money at the moment. We have no cedar to reseed the field. So as I said, whatever we get from this is what we're going to use to purchase a cedar. So depending on our income from the field and what they have in store will depend on what we can actually purchase. Maybe something good, and maybe something really, really average, but yeah, we need a cedar. So we can't be too picky, we just need to get it done. Alright, so let's take a quick look at prices for canola. Uh, the vehicle shop grains, so all the way up to the vehicle shop. Yep, is the most expensive place, or our best price for canola so it's going to be a long drive up there but it's going to be worth it in the long run so I think we're about 8,000 litres and I think our trailer is maybe about 16,000 litres or so so we should get this whole field not only harvested but also in our trailer so we go into our garage, we should be able to find it pretty easy, 14,000 litres, so pretty close to a double full hopper here of our hopper, our harvester. So we might need to do more than one trip to the shop. Sort of have to wait and see, I guess. So we'll get our boom out ready to go, we should be able to go up and back around and sort of have to just run down and jump in the tractor. So hopefully you guys like the idea of the series. I have had a couple of comments about, you know, American stuff in a non-American map, but um, the whole idea of it is we're an outsider. You know, we've come from somewhere completely different and we've decided to start farming here now that the um, farming industry is sort of back on a rise there's no farmers around and so we thought it was a good opportunity to come in I said we are an outsider but not not a local so we're we're an American well technically I'm an Australian but we're an American in Europe in another part of the world trying to make trying to make some money trying to you know further improve ourselves and and um, that sort of thing so we're not going with a oh, wrong button I pressed H then oh there we go Philip I think if we go shift that one um, okay what's going on here no no okay none of that changed uh, 150 1.8 accept changes so we need to go back to here and go Jacko yeah that's right no oh, Jacko uh, oh, why does it do that? Let's go dumpy. If I can spell right. Um, Alice. Oh, for God's sakes. 
Alistair. Uh, got. Stop it. Bucket. Head. We have Brian. Hopefully, this will stay this time. Brian. We also have Victor as well. Lily in the state. Except changes. Okay. The other ones haven't for some strange reason. So it's fertilized only 50% needs lime. So we're going to have to try and either save up for a lime spreader or try and find something that's nice and cheap. That's John Deere. It's one thing I'm trying to trying to keep a close eye on, especially in the mods and that sort of stuff that come out. Certainly like this tractor, the little 4440. It's a little power horse, this thing. Hard worker. So we've got the 4440 and then we've got our big John Deere harvester over here. The, uh, is it 8800? 8820 it is. Oh, there we go. Jump on out. Back around. Climb up, jump on in. Stay their header up, ready to go. So yeah, as I said, we don't really have anything as far as fertilizing goes. Let's have a look at um, cedars. $6,000, there we go. They must have a John Deere cedar in stock. $6,000, that's all, all we need. Um, this guy's way too expensive. So that's an option. I don't know if we have any John Deere planters. We don't, so. $6,000 is all we're gonna need for a cedar. I think we should more than, get more than $6,000 out of this field. We've got 8,000 liters already, so that's about 16,000, I think. So as I said, we should get more than enough out of that. Now, I think we've got 6,000 liter capacity left in our trailer. So we'll have to wait and see if we actually get another 6,000 litres out of this or not. I, I think we probably will. Probably get more than 6,000 litres. Which I means it's a good thing for us, but it means we're going to have to do two trips. No idea what that noise is in the background. Sounds like somebody on a dirt bike or something flying around. Someone with a chainsaw, or is there a plane or something? No, I can't see anything. I want to grab a uh, quick screenshot. There we go. Oh, not driving very straight there either, but anyway. So we're certainly at we're nearly at 3,000 litres here. So we're going to be close to that 6,000 litre mark. So we're definitely going to have more than 6,000 litres. You guys, let me know what you think. How much do you think we'll get? Do it now, don't do it at the end. Do it before we work it out. But will we be above 6,000 or below 6,000? You guys let me know in the comments section. Even put in a real number. Like 6,400 or 5,600 or... You know, something like that. Or even between 5,5 five and 5,6. Five, as you guess. I reckon it'll be about five, nine to 6,000. Maybe. We're gonna go pretty close, I think, to 6,000 liters. So with our next harvest, if we do canola again, we're gonna have to have a second trailer or do two runs. I don't think I'll pick up. Can you take anything in the back? Uh, where is it? There. No. 56. 57. 58. 59. Oh, what a guess. 59 to 48. So close to having to do a second run. Luckily we didn't have to. 
Um, that header trailer I was having a few dramas with actually, trying to get the header back off the trailer. So hopefully it actually works probably this time. So our farm is right over there. We'll have to um, get this stuff sold. We might even... I don't know if we can... It's attachment there for a second trailer. So maybe we can possibly... I'd say we could pick up the cedar on the back of the trailer and bring it back. How good would that be? So we'll have to... Um, flick him a quick text. We have their mobile number, so... We'll flick Rebecca a quick text and let her know that we're after that um, that cedar that they got available, the old John Deere one. We're going to bring up some grain for them to purchase, uh, and then we'll use our money to buy. Um, yeah, we'll use our money to buy that cedar. Some sort of concern that. We're going to struggle to get this header off sometimes. Oh, fence. Back back a little bit. There we go, that might be enough room now. Maybe. Swing us around. Take our harvester back. To the farm. We don't have a lot of... A, a massive area up there, so we're going to have to... Try and work something out. We do have, um... I believe... There's some John Deere mowers as well that they have. There is, so... I mean, there's opportunity for us to come back and mow around the field. Even get rid of those trees up there. Take them and sell them, make a little bit of money. And then use our grass around the outside of the field to be able to sell it. Or turn it into silage. Obviously, we're going to need somewhere to put that grass to turn it into silage. But... That is an option. Okay, sort of thinking where we're going to put this harvester in this header. I think maybe just alongside where our, our truck is. Still give ourselves enough room to get in and out. But then at least put it down here out of the way. That way, if the time comes, we actually go to put some like a um, shed or something down here. We should be able to get both underneath. Let's take a quick look at our chickens. They're dirty again. Bloody buggers they are. Uh, some more eggs available. So let's chuck those in that pallet. It's 9,600 litres that is. Alright, so cover this guy up. We'll head up to the shop. Um, I will turn traffic back on. I did turn it off because I had Drummers with a, a car come up behind us and hit our harvester, we hit the header trailer and knocked the header off and it was half hanging off on our way back so it was causing some dramas, I had a drive in right in the middle of the road so I turned traffic off but traffic is now back on I love this tractor, John Deere 4440 very very dirty then the cab sort of clears itself which is kind of weird but anyway very, very good looking tractor. We should be able to get out in front of this guy. Apologies. Put our hazards on because we're on the road. We're not doing as fast as they can go. Probably get a little bit cranky behind us. Yep, you can hear his horn. That's weird. That's a weird horn, mate. Or is that our blinkers? No, that's our blinkers. <laughs> certainly is. Blinkers are off. Blinkers are on. Yep, we've got weird standard blinkers. It's a shame all these lights are here. We could probably pull over to the left a little bit and let these guys pass, but it's just not enough room for us to to let it happen. By the time we pull over and then go to pull back in, we'll probably end up hitting somebody. There's only one car behind us, so he can you can wait, I guess. Shop's only just up there. We're not too far away, so... Can't complain. 
Ah. Truck behind us now. We're catching this guy. What's this guy doing? This guy might be having some car troubles. Oop, there's our timer going off. Not quite sure. Bit of a toot, we'll go around. Oh, just made that. I didn't see that blue car then. Sorry. Well, now then, stop me slowing you down. It's him. You can have a go at him now, not us. Alright, so we're so close to the shop. So hopefully our Cedar will be in there getting a service ready to go. We'll just have to go and dump off this grain that we've got, the canola, and then we'll head on in, have a chat with Rebecca, pick up our new Cedar, and head back to the farm. So we're progressing reasonably slowly with um, our Rags to Riches John Deere series, but we don't want to progress too quick. The whole idea of it is being a Rags to Riches series, so um, as I said, we borrowed 120 grand to get our harvester and the field, which the bank was more than happy to lend us because he's seen how hard we've worked around helping other farmers out. He knows we've got our mobile home, our truck, our tractor, our chickens and the chicken coop and all our equipment and stuff. It's probably valued at more than $120,000 anyway. Um, so he certainly knows that he's going to get his money back anyway. So we can't see our cedar in there. He might, be have, it, might have it on the other side in there servicing away. Authorised vehicles only, well that's us, we're authorised to come and sell some stuff. Let's take this cover off. Unload. Boom, there's our six gram we needed for our cedar. Move back a bit so this guy can walk through. Let's see if we can scare him. Oh Jesus! Just certainly scared him. Right, so $27,741 from that one harvest. That is pretty good. Let's um, go and have a chat with Rebecca. Good afternoon. Certainly expecting us. Uh, we wanted to pick up our John Deere Cedar. She said it's a, it's, it should be out the front ready to go by the time we get out there. No one's just finished servicing it. Is that both purchase points? All right, hopefully have a good day. Thank you very much. We'll turn your oh, we'll turn your light on. How's that? Is that better? Oh, head outside. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Noah. We're ready to go. All right, let's see if we can hook this bad boy up to the back of our trailer here. That'll be um, ideal. And I can limp it back to the farm. Shut for all these trees. Uh, no, we can't. Ah, uh, bugger. I don't think there's another way that we can do it. wonder if we can... Um... No, not a dolly. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, this guy. Let's see if we can lease this for $700. It's probably going to be the same problem, but it won't. Want to connect? I don't think so. Uh, let's sort of oop, drop you there. Have a look. No, it won't connect. Right, well, I might um bring the truck back actually and pick that up. Drop that back off. It did cost us a little bit of money, but that's fine. So, right there, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Um, let me know if you've been enjoying the series so far. I know the first episode and the couple after that have gone pretty well. So um, hopefully it continues. Certainly going to be a lot more exciting for me and for you, I hope, compared to our other series um, at Marwell Manor. Fields are a little bit better. We can actually get in and do something to a field in one episode, whereas Marwell Manor we couldn't. So hopefully you guys are really enjoying this. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Don't forget, if you want to become a member of the channel, hit the join button below. That'll give you access to our FS19 uh, multiplayer server. Possibly in the future, we'll have um, a dedicated Space Engineers server, maybe a dedicated 
Outlaws server as well, sort of, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how that video goes and um, go from there, but it's been Brito, thanks for watching, see you again soon.